Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. I hope you're having a lovely weekend. And today I've got a really quick update for you. It's not going to take too long. But first of all, let's dive in and have a look at today's coffee. It's a carnival coffee. Go on, if you can focus on that. So, time to make the coffee and let's get dive into Canva and get started. <laughs> Today I've gone for a nice simple mug for my coffee, keep calm, carry on. Just gone for black coffee this morning, just to kind of give me a bit of wake up juice. It's the weekend and I'm here creating tutorials for you guys. I hope you are really enjoying this series of tutorials. It's given you a lot of kind of like ideas of how you can use Canva to create your content. And also, if you've got any questions on any of the tutorials that I'm doing, always just drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Even if you want to just say, hi, hope you're having a great weekend. I really appreciate it. Love the feedback. Click all the like and subscribe. Anyway, let's dive into Canva and get started because I'm only part way through my coffee so far. and I'm not quite awake yet. Here we are, we're in Canva and under, when what I've done is I've just added an image. And this template that we've got here, this is just a, YouTube thumbnail size I thought it worked best for this image so what I kind of saw is that it's got some kind of like blur to this but I wanted to show you a couple three tools and one of those is the autofocus tool here now these tools are in beta you've got a face retouch tool and an auto enhance tool but the one we're going to look at today is the autofocus tool have a play about with these other tools but the one we're going to look at is this autofocus tool now what you do just select your image click on the tool and that's going to go away and do its thing and you'll see that what it's done is it's almost like it's done the background removal element of the tool but then blurred the background now you can change the position of the blur so you can bring that focus more towards the front or focus on the background and so you can do that and you can change the blur intensity so you can blur this all the way up to 100 or you can just just nudge it a little bit there and on this image it's worked really well one of the images that I tried a couple of days ago it wasn't it didn't work out too well so let's just go to my uploads and my images and it's the one of me doing this uh, that we're looking for so there we go let's replace the background for this one and then we're just going to come up to the image editing tools and I just want to show you this is in beta by the way but these are beta features that you should have access to they've been out for a little while so you might not have noticed them but just click on the auto focus I've got the image selected there um, give it a few minutes and you'll see around the fingers it doesn't quite work and the hands are kind of like blurry so you can change the blur position to be kind of more there and it doesn't quite work the way I would I would normally like it to work the way around that is if you come to the tools click background remover and remove the background okay so you see there it's been a lot more kind of like precise around the image there so all I'm now doing is to click reply and then if I come back to my uploads I can then choose this one drag this out if I just oops, pop that image detach that image from the background and then just put that image here and then if I put me over that well first of all what I want to do is I want to come up to edit image and I want to click on see all and I can then click the blur here so I can blur my background there and then what I do is I just then drag this version of me over the top okay so you just have to resize this accordingly and kind of just kind of like fit them in I've got a full tutorial on this I'll put a link up here to my workaround for creating a blurry background and how you can kind of like use that change the background kind of a little bit more change, like maybe give it a black and white image at the background and then change the color of the one in the front as I say there's a full tutorial on that up here for you I'm gonna go and enjoy my coffee now because it's Sunday 
and I'm really enjoying this series as I say but happy weekend and I'll see you guys tomorrow Thank you.